Oh, the other day we filmed a um, video kind of like this, except it was just me literally siding in. So this is kind of like the pre, no it's not, it's not the pre, it's not the pre, it's the post. Post, post, hmm. Anyway, it's a video after that one pretty much to, uh, I gotta get some Loctite. I gotta get stick some Loctite in those, uh, those little screws in the front on the scope. I, I, I kind of forgot to do that, but I don't want to screw it. Anyway, this is the post video to see if we can tag some targets now at a farther distance, now that we actually have it dialed in and we know that it's dialed in. I think it was shooting, I don't remember. I think it was three, three minutes right and three minutes high or something at a hundred. So that's three inches, I think is what it was. I can't recall. Anyway, which is really, really, really bad. I need, I need to get some, I need to get some, I need to get some trail cameras. So if any of you guys have some good suggestions on a couple trail cameras, I don't know. I feel like I bought so many trail cameras in the last couple of years. And the ones I bought last year were absolute just shit. They were so bad. And um, I need some new ones for this year. I like to have a couple cell cams for here in my land. And then when I go in July to go do my scouting for elk, don't think we're going to get cell cams because we probably won't have service in the mountains. But I'll need some lock boxes and stuff like that. So I'm sure some of you guys got some experience in the old camera industry. Let me know. I so, got Cam's wallet. Oh, you got Cam's wallet. Look, here's Cam's wallet. <laughs> we're, uh, we're at Batman's place. Uh, he's got the smaller version. No, I've got the smaller version of his truck because he's a bigger man. And I've got a bigger nether region. <laughs> I mean, it's wee bit, man. <laughs> Monday they're doing bed liner. My mats come in tomorrow. They're doing the windows. Exactly. You, you're gonna you're gonna love why I got so much off of it. So tell me, you said it's hail damage? Yeah, look at this. You're gonna love this. Seriously? Yeah, and they're fixing it on Monday. I got it for eight thousand dollars off because of that dent right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, let's go ahead and just do that. Let's just go ahead and seal that one up. That's awesome. Yeah, so look at this feature. So this is for people that can't use I, a trailer. I haven't seen that. So it's literally you turn it which way you want I mean, the trailer. I can use a trailer, but you probably oh can't be. Yeah. You can't use a trailer. <laughs> you can't use a trailer at all. Yeah. You turn it which way you want the trailer to go, and uh -huh. it automatically turns the wheel when you're backing up. No. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. It's got probably everything else your truck's got in it. Yeah. But this is awesome, man. Have you jumped it yet? No. No. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. When are you guys starting feeding again? Um, typically, I mean, we feed the, uh, in the high fence all the time, like yeah. all the time, but out here it'll probably be around October for whitetail. Uh, but for you, you take one of those feeders and you put corn in it and you'll have hogs come up to it, uh -huh. like on uh -huh. the reg. So all the tractors, are you just charging the battery? No clue, I just noticed that the <laughs> thing's open. <laughs> <laughs> no clue. This is why I love coming to Toby. Toby sits up there in his little rocking chair on his little phone. Does he? Does all business. Everybody's asked what Toby does. He does business constantly. He's he's on the board of how many companies? A few. Too many. It doesn't really matter. He gets paid to direct people and tell them how to run a business correctly. Where, where'd you where'd you jack it up? Oh, I see it. Yeah, you I see, see it. it. Right on. Yeah, so there's Gabe. There he is. Yeah, so we had a big windstorm. The tree fell off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. Just Damn windstorm. Damn windstorm. No wheels, huh? Yeah, yeah, Toby told me I had to buy a truck. So I had to get a black one. Now I just gotta gain like 40 pounds and shave my head. And get some biceps? Yeah, get some biceps. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm telling, trying to talk him into buying a side-by-side -side now that he can stand on. Right there. There you go. How much you want for that one? 20% more? 15% more. He's, he's more of a dude. I hate, I hate this. This is like last time. It was like, hey, you're gonna buy those those bass for twelve dollars a piece. So that way, I was like, oh, oh f me, I guess. Well, Maybe it was on record. You said you wanted <laughs> thirteen five. Thirteen five? Yeah. That's bullshit. I can get those new for for twenty. How about five? Fourteen five. <laughs> <laughs> so he's talking about the protein feeders. Yeah. How do you think, since he doesn't have an auger, what do you think? I mean, a ladder would be highly inappropriate because it'd be more like cost effective to do. Um, what do you think he needs? Like, what do you think I should just not get them? Yeah, they, of course they make protein feeders that's shorter and yeah, throw I got a whole bunch in, of them, but they are a little expensive, so it just kind really, of depends. They're like four hundred bucks. I yeah. just looked at them. I just want to stand. Well, there. those will get torn up, buddy, real quick. I know. The thing is, one one f hog runs in the legged thing, it's yeah. gonna fall over. Yeah. yeah. Those you're not gonna knock over. Yeah. They're, they're solid. But, yeah. You know, if, but, if you buy that side by side and you put a no front wheel on top, you just climb right up. Yeah. Throw the bags on your back and get a workout too. 
good thing about coming over here is like, hey, I want to hang out with some buddies. They're like, hey, uh, so we're selling this. You want it's a good deal. Also, you want to buy those over there. I'm selling my, my bass for $12 a piece. We'd never do that. <laughs> you don't think you're gunked up at all? No, not with corn. Cool. I, mean, I don't think so. No, no, but probably. this is a lot bigger than I thought. This would be good. This, this, I wouldn't have to fill it every month. No, I mean, this is a, what, a 500 pound? Probably, yeah. Um, if you have a couple of them, actually, Stillwater Millen will come out and fill them for you. I would still suggest buying a side by side the ladder to stand on top. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> I have the worst friends ever. <laughs> <laughs> no <know> worst <we're> friends. <laughs> On this, we may have to adjust the neck a little bit and close it down on that corn, because that could possibly free flow out. Look at it, because the thing would be way cheaper than buying those corn ones. Is it caught? It's free. No, I think you can get a hundred bucks a piece for them. I mean, I was thinking more like five hundred. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How about I just pay you in beer? What if we just bring over a couple hundred dollars in beer for? Hey, well, that's a good change. You're getting a bunch of those uh, targets out here. We'll just call it fair. No, that doesn't cost me anything. Well, but seriously, I don't want you. To, I want you to use them. You can have them because I can't tell you that it's going to work perfect. Um, Gabe says it will, so I trust Gabe. Gabe told me they would work perfect for me too. <laughs> <laughs> they did not. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine for corn, right? That's that's all that matters. Just grab one of the spears and just carp in that creek. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking about when the dogs were in front of me, I was like, well, yeah, he's probably going to come get that thing. And here comes Toby. Oh, oh. Toby, come here. Come here. Dude. Uh. Trying to fill in my shorts. My, it's just, I'm in pain. That's a homemade harpoon right there. I don't, you can't do this on uh, non-public land, by the way, just so everybody's aware. Just see so where. Did you saw him in here though? Yeah, I may have mucked up the water. There's a huge carp right here. Well then I'll, I'll just come back through whenever. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll just do that. I just realized something. I didn't grab the other targets. So there's only one, two, three. We gotta run back and grab the other targets. So we got some of my older targets. We have some actually new ones coming here. Maybe the next week or so. Maybe, hopefully. They're gonna be the proper size. These ones are a little small. Um, I mean, they're kind of, they're mid, mid size. They're more of a small human, I guess you'd say. But I've got, are, these are, did you fix them all? They all work. They're all good. They're all good. Okay. We'll take some of the circle targets. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Circle, circle, one, two, three, four. We'll put a circle, circle and human. Human's already there. Yeah, you got this? I'll sit here and I'll just, I'll, I'll I'll relay to you, like, just look at me and I'll tell you where to go. Just turn around, I'll be like, hey! The one, yeah, there's two nine eight two yeah, eights. Basically, there's two eights, yeah. yeah. But you gotta bring it. You you were right when you came. You know, when you come down that hill and you turned right and went up and put the eight. Yeah. Basically, at the bottom of that thing is like seven. Okay, is this one not seven? No, it goes three, four, five, six, eight, eight. Okay, I think there's a seven out there. Oh, got covered in ticks. Just drive, look at that big ass one right there. Make me one. I'm taking my shirt off. I'm gonna have you guys check me because that is everywhere. Oh man, so we've been building this uh, range out here. My third time out here. We just got the, the we just got the steel set up. Gabe actually had to fix a couple of them. I have more coming here in the next week or so. But I'll show you guys some footage you guys have not seen. If you guys are new to the channel, we've been working on it just a little bit. Uh, I'll roll some of that footage right now. I'm, I'm right. Do you have it? Do you have it saved right now? Okay, because I just tried to pull it up and I don't have no service. So we, we want one, this one's like 550, so we need one in the fours. Okay. So we need to go that away, I would assume, right? Yeah. I'm gonna tell we you. Can, we can set them, we can stair step them, because you know that one's further to the east. Yeah, so this one's five, so I was almost thinking you can do another one that way. So as it goes four, five. Okay. Oh, we can go this way even. Oh, yeah, I guess yeah. we could, because it's, it's not really that bad. Yeah. <laughs>
And then you can see I actually cut all these onions myself right now. We go from three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, they're off just a little bit, like nine is actually 925. And the wind at 925 right now is actually blowing really, really, like a full value wind left to right. Down here, it's coming out of my back. So it's not gonna bother me, but I, what I need to get out there still is I need to get long stakes with wind flags on them so I can show you guys the difference from like the wind here to the wind down there. But we're just gonna walk it out and see if we can uh, touch targets today to show you I'm not a fraud. Remember I'm not a fraud? Remember I was a fraud? Or am I a fraud? Am I a fraud? I don't think so. I don't think so, I don't know. I hope not, I hope not too, because this is where I either embarrass myself or I go home and half a bottle of whiskey with myself, so. All right. You say, yeah, you're good? Yeah, I'm good. You know what I'm worried about? That's hot. It's all right. Yeah. I'm worried I, I, didn't, I didn't readjust this. I'm going out to that four. Out to four. Yeah. I think, I think, I think I forgot to do something. Cause I was so worked up over the screws in the front being loose. Mm. I think I fucked something up and forgot to, forgot to set it back to zero. Oh. So, which is not a big deal. Cause now if that's the case, then I'll just re zero and I'll put Loctite in those nuts in the front or the screws in the front. But I still think I can get it done. Like I just had to dial back to one and a half. No, one plus one. Right. Yeah. All right, you good on four? Okay. These are pistol targets I'm shooting, by the way. But I'm going to tell you right now that the... Our headshot targets, this is what these are. I need to... Okay, so she's she's fine, but the thing is I forgot to reset um, my windage back to zero, which is not a big deal. But knowing me, I'm going to be so f***ing paranoid that I didn't do it correctly that I'm gonna to want to re-zero, which is not a big deal. I, I know what I'm gonna do. All right, so let's go to five now. Where was that one? Did you see or no? I didn't see it. That was a hit on low. Yeah, I thought that first one was low. Okay. I'm still, I'm shooting right edge of the target. It's fine. So I'm actually at that distance is on the phone, but I need you to write this down because these numbers matter. Or put it in your phone. You got your phone? Yeah. Uh, five plus, five, I want you to write five plus three for, just put five plus three for five for me. So I have an understanding. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't remember if it's 500. It's actually on my phone, what you're using right now. So it might be like 520-ish, but just put five plus three okay. for me. And then the next one's around six-ish. Um, so I'm gonna go, if that one's shooting low, I'm gonna go six plus, I'm gonna do six plus three on this one as well. Okay, you at the six? Yeah, we'll do six plus three on that. And then... That was a good You like, you like that? Yeah. You like that some bitch? Hit that, hit that mother right in the stomach. So six plus three is gonna be the six. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, we'll do six plus three on six. Fucking first round hit on 600. Let's do the seven. See, this is, this is how I know I can tell people to fuck off. All right, let's go for seven. Um, I'm just gonna do that right out the gate again. Tell me when you're good on seven. I'm gonna be honest with you, that 700 target's actually small. Holy, I bet you that's a 12 inch wide target. That's 700. No, it is. I can see, because the one right behind it's a 16. At eight. Whatever. It's, I mean, if it admitted a gun, you should be able to... It shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, see so the wind down there is actually going left to right and up here it's at uh directly from the back yeah left to right are right, you ready i don't know if i'll hit this on first first round go wow i held right though i know exactly where it's at i held right it was shooting left to right so That was hold off. So the wind's blowing left 
So on that one, you guys can see it's a 12 inch wide target. So my crosser, I mean, it really is very, it's not very wide to look at the scope, but at 700, the first round, I held left edge and the round went directly right past the right shoulder of the target, which is kind of what I was expecting because it's blowing left to right down there. And you don't care about the, what the wind is blowing, where you're laying, that doesn't matter. You give a where it's, it, it's blowing down there. So I held a little bit more and that, that last one actually, the wind must have laid down just enough for the round to go right past and I just held off. I think I held, like we'll say a half a minute left or so on that one. Like probably I'll say a half a minute left is all it was at seven. Okay, so we'll move up to eight. And uh, by the way, go ahead and write that down for me. That's gonna be seven plus three again. I mean. Okay, so how am I gonna get this thing? In first round, mother impact at 800. Oh, you know, there's just times when I lay down and my nether regions will literally make my, my ass in rise off the off the floor. That's what's going on right now. I got a little bit of an arousion going on. Is that arousion a word? Word? Arousaled. I arousaled myself. All right, that's good. Hey, go ahead and write down eight three for eight. I never adjusted my windage. That's nuts. I'm actually gonna just. I'm just gonna slip the ring. I'm gonna slip the rings after this is what I'm gonna do. And it'll be fine. I'm slipping the rings. I'm actually holding one one right right now, not one one left. So if I were to do if I if I slip this down to zero where it was, dude, I'd be shooting eight and a half inches to the right right now. Oh right. This is you good. All that time. Yeah. See what I mean by wind? All right, I'm just gonna do hold off on this one. That's still right. Yeah, still Holy right. Shit. All right. Ah! My my elevation's fine now. My elevation is actually short. I hit the pole. You see that? That was a hit. Get it! All right, cool. That was a hit. Ugh. All right, so I was holding three and a half minutes left at 925. Three and a half minutes left at 925. That bullet lost so much velocity from eight to 925. That's insane. Cause I wasn't. I was holding a half. I was holding a half at eight and three and a half at 925. So that'd be another, I need to go another, uh, what is that, would be another, was it 1300, another four? I'm gonna try to shoot out to a mile with this thing. I think I can do it. It's gonna be very hard to see impact. Even at 925, we barely saw impact. This this round just lost so much velocity. And oh, oh, but you know what it is? It's your turn, Cam. What you should do is turn it into a whole nother video. What's that? Teaching me how to shoot. Teaching you how to shoot? Teaching a person who doesn't know how to shoot how to shoot? Shooting's the easy part. It's just breathing, trigger squeeze, and I don't know if you notice how I was laying down. Yeah. I took on my boots for a reason because they're clunky. When you lay down behind a rifle, a lot of people, you see them, for some reason, they're just like, you know what? I want to lay down like this. <laughs> and they get all caught. It makes no sense. You don't lay behind that shit. You get behind it, square that some bitch up, and see my look at my legs. You lay flat. When I was in school, man, that was a long time ago, when if your feet weren't flat, the instructors would literally come by and they would step on your feet to squish them to the ground. It hurts like hell when a 180 pound, 200 pound man comes and squishes your ankles back down in the dirt. You're like, damn, that hurt. You learn real quick not to do it. All right, but you're gonna shoot. You want, I, I can literally, you want me, you want to do an entire video just on teaching someone how to shoot far? Yeah. You think people would actually enjoy watching that? Yeah, people wouldn't know who I am for some reason, so. <laughs> well, you hold the camera. Yeah. I feel like I gotta like check myself. Teaching you how to shoot far. Should we do that when we get to the actual targets? Because some of these targets are a little small. Like we got a 12 inch, you're looking at a 12 inch target at 700 for a person who doesn't shoot, you're looking like it's this big at 700 yards. There's not a lot of room to work with, especially when you're looking at a, uh, say this is a minute gun, you're looking at a seven inch shot group, what this gun is capable of doing, which means you're looking at this gun will shoot something like, like that big of a shot group if it's held steady and the right person shooting behind it. So it's all, 
everything's always shooter dependent and the, the caliber of the shooter depends really depends on the accuracy of the rifle i can hand anybody a quarter minute gun and they may not be able to hit shit out the 7 or 800 and it should be easy peasy lemon squeezy so if you guys want to see me teach cam how to shoot which in turn will probably teach maybe a couple of you guys how to shoot long range how can we do this leave a comment below saying yes because if you made it this far in the video you give it you actually care about shooting at a distance so but when we get these other ones coming in here it's literally going to be like i'll have them set up in iterations from like three to 350 to four to 425 to 475 to 525 500 we'll have so many all the way out there and they'll be colored differently and they'll have letters on them like a through z and i'm gonna have range cards made up it's, it's gonna be a beautiful little thing here it's gonna be legit actual private range uh, we should see if Toby wants to come out here with one of his, now that we're golden. I would say I would like to have a white claw, but I'm done with those things. I got the worst stomach pains for two days after drinking a bunch of them. Done with those carbonated piss, piss water. Well, that wind is starting to pick up just a tad bit coming out of that direction. That is actually going to be the direction of um, Never Eat Soggy Waffles. I hope you guys did enjoy this video over here on Lunkers TV. If you guys would like to see anything else, just let me know come back over to toby's maybe we might slice and dice up some some rattlesnake you know and for you guys uh strange way to end it but i hope you guys did enjoy this video over here on lunkers tv i'll catch you guys on another episode let's sweet let's roll that sweet succulent motherfucking outro <laughs>